Hello everyone. Welcome to the LRDI, LRDI practice session. Let's look at today's case slit. It's a case slit based on what games in tournament. The World Cup football tournament had a total of 32 teams. Teams are divided into eight pools of four teams each. Let's divide them into eight pools. One, two, three and so on. This would be the eighth pool. In every pool will have how many teams? Four teams. Let's say these are the teams of first pool A, B, C, D. Similarly, we'll have four teams in second pool and so on. So overall, there are 32 teams. Fine. Two points are awarded for a win and one point for a draw. That means draw is also possible. At the end of all the matches in the pool stage, the top two teams from each pool on the basis of points scored advance to the pre quarter finals. That means I'll get two teams from first pool, two from second, two from third and so on till eighth. In all, I'll get 16 teams. Fine. They'll advance to the pre quarter finals. If two or more teams end up with the same number of points, the team with a better goal difference is placed higher. Fine. That means their points can be equal. I'll look at their goal difference. That means maybe I've lost a match by 5-2 and somebody else has lost the match by 6-1. So what's the goal difference here? This is 5 and this is 3. So I'm a better player than him. The matches from the pre-quarter final stage onwards are played on knockout basis. That means the moment you lose a match, you'll be out of the tournament. So how many teams will reach to the pre-quarter final stage? These 16 teams. Fine. With the winner advancing to the next round and the loser being eliminated. So out of these 16 teams, pre-quarter finals knockout will get 8 winners. These 8 winners are going to play quarter final. We'll get 4 winners from here. These 4 winners will play semi-finals. We'll get 2 winners. And these two winners will play final so that you get the champion. That is one winner. Yes or no? This continues till the semi-final with the winners of the semi-finals advancing to the finals and the losers of the semi-finals playing for the third place. That means we'll get one extra match here. That means this match will be conducted to find the third and the fourth place. The winner of the finals is declared the world champion. Okay. So let's look at the first question. I believe this case is clear to everyone. What is the total number of matches in the pool stage? Okay, let's look at the pool stage. How many pools I have created here? Eight. These four teams are going to play how many matches with each other? We'll simply apply that PNC formula. That is 4C2. I'll get six matches. How do we get this? A is going to play three matches with A, B, C and D. Then B will play two matches with C and D. Then C will play one match with D. That makes what? Six matches. Each pool will have six matches. Six, six, six counted how many times? Eight times. Will give you 48 matches. So what is the answer of first question? It should be 48. Fine. What is the total number of matches in the tournament? That means including what? Matches which were played at pool stage. Pre quarter finals, quarter finals, semi finals, and finals. Now we have already seen that 48 matches were played in the pool stage. These 48 matches, you'll get 16 players who will qualify for pre quarter finals. So 16 players will play with each other. And it's a knockout tournament. That means I'll get 8 winners from these 16 players. These 8 winners are going to play 4 quarter finals. So I'll get four winners. These four winners will play semi-finals, which will give you two winners. And these two winners, semi-finalists, winner of semi-finals will play one final. That gives you one more. So 48 plus 8 will give you 56 plus 4, 60 plus 3. That makes only 63. But don't forget this one. Losers of the semi-finals playing for the third place. That means I'll get one extra match here. So 63 plus 1 gives you 64. Yes or no? So what's the answer? 64 matches will be played in the tournament. 
Fine. Now these two questions were very easy. Let's look at the third one. What is the minimum points with which a team can advance to the pre quarterfinals? That means I'm talking about the games which were played in pool stage. What is the minimum points with which a team can advance to the pre quarterfinals? Now every team is going to play how many matches? Let's look at the case of first pool. Let's say these are the four teams. Now what do you want? You want to get minimum number of points with which you can advance to the pre quarterfinals. So let's assume that A is the first team from the first pool which is which will be selected for the pre quarterfinals. That means I am assuming that A is going to win all the three matches against B, C and D. So A will get how many points? Six. Now I need one more winner out of these three. Let's assume that these three players will play draws with each other. Yes or no? B will play a draw with C and D both. That means B will get two points only. Similarly, C will get two points and D will also get two points. So from this pool, I need to select two toppers. One of them would be A and one more will be from these three people. Whether it's B, C or D, all of them will get only two points. So I can say that by getting two points still I can qualify for what? The pre quarter finals. That's why my answer is what? Two. Because they are going to play draws. Yes or no? So by still uh, not winning a single game I can reach into what? the pre quarter fans. So my answer is 2 here. Now what is the next question? What is the maximum point scored by a team which did not advance to the pre quarter fans? Similar kind of question but I have replaced it by what? The word maximum here. That means you want to score maximum number of points but still you don't want to qualify what pre quarter fans. Again I will take the example of first pool. There are 4 teams B, A, B, C, D. You want to get maximum points, but you want it to be eliminated. Yes or no? You don't want to reach into the pre-quarter finals. So how many teams are going to qualify for pre-quarter finals? Only two out of these four. So you would like to be at third position or fourth position. There will be four positions. Top two teams will qualify for the pre-quarter finals and bottom two teams will not qualify for the pre-quarter finals. Let's say these are the top two teams. and These are the bottom two. So I wanted to add third place but still I want to get what? The maximum points. So how many matches will be played among these four players? We have already seen that. Six matches. Six matches means 12 points. Yes or no? So do one thing. Assume that D is not going to win any match. D is not going to win any match. That means D will get zero points. In. Yes or no? Now these three teams are going to beat D. That means they will get two, two points each. After that, these three teams will play against each other one, one match. Yes or no? Three teams are there. They will play how many matches against each other? One, one match. That means three teams, three matches will be played. Three matches means six points. They will distribute these six points equally. So you can say that each team will get four points here. And the last team will get zero. Although all the three teams have got same points. But on the basis of goal difference, only two teams will qualify. Let's say A and B will qualify. C is not going to qualify for the pre quarter finals. Although C got four points, but C will not qualify for the pre quarter finals. So maximum points scored by C were four. But it will not advance to the pre quarter finals. So what's the answer? Answer is four. So what is the logic behind it? Do one thing. If three teams are going to qualify, I would like to be at fourth position. Only if two teams are going to qualify, you would like to be at third position. And what you do? You will distribute the points equally among these top three teams. Case kuch alag hota. Let's say there are five teams A, B, C, D. And only two teams are going to qualify. Or maybe I will say that three teams are going to qualify. So for this particular question, the answer would have been what? Only three teams will qualify. I would like to be at fourth position. So I will try to distribute points equally among these four teams only. E will get zero points. That means all these four teams will beat E. They will get two, two points each. 
After that, these four teams are going to play how many matches? 4C2. That is 6. 6 matches means 12 points. I'll divide these 12 points equally among these four teams. That means each team will get how many points? C3. Yes or no? So each team will get 5 points, but only top 3 teams will qualify. If there are 5 teams, the answer would be 5. Let's look at the last one. What is the minimum number of matches won by the team declared the world champion? We know that without winning a single match in the pool stage, I can qualify for what? Pre quarter finals. You can qualify for the pre quarter finals without winning a single match. Let's say all the matches for pool one, first pool were draws, but still two teams will qualify. Now, what is the minimum number of matches won by the team declared the world champion? 16 teams will qualify for pre quarter finals. 1, 2, 3, 4, till what? 16. These 16 teams will qualify for the pre quarter finals. They'll play 8 matches. So, this is a knockout tournament. That means if you want to qualify for quarter finals, you'll have to win this match. So, your team will have to win one match in pre quarter final, one match of quarter finals, one match of semi finals. And finals also. So that makes how many matches? Four matches. So the minimum number of matches won by the team which was declared as a world champion must be four. Thank you.